this is what it looks like. It's a very subtle way to add shells to your work. On this video, I'm gonna teach you how to do the wavy shell stitch. I'm gonna be using a four millimeter hook and some cotton yarn size three. So for the stitch, you wanna start with a foundation chain that's a multiple of 14 plus three. So in my case, I have 31. For row one, you wanna skip the first two chains, which counts as a double crochet, and do three double crochets into the next chain. So we're going to do three double crochets into the same chain. That was one, two, and three. Now you're gonna start your row repeat by skipping three chains. So one, two, three, and doing one single crochet into each of the next seven chains. So I've skipped three, and now I'm gonna do one single crochet into the next seven chains. This is my third one, fourth one, fifth one, sixth one, and seventh one. Now you wanna skip three chains, one, two, three, and into the next do seven double, double crochets into the same chain, we're gonna do seven double crochets. So that was one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And now I can go back to the beginning of the repeat by skipping three chains, one, two, three, and doing one single crochet into each of the next seven chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So if you have more chains, you wanna continue the repetition. In my case, if, as you can see, you, I am at the end of the row and I have four chains left. So I'm gonna skip three and into the very last chain, we're gonna do four double crochets into the exact same one. So that's one, two, three, and four. And this here is the end of row one. For row two, you wanna start with a chain one and flip your work. You're gonna do one single crochet into the first stitch, and then one single crochet into each stitch until you finish this row. So you're gonna do one single crochet all the way to the end, and your very last single crochet is gonna be into the top of the turning chain. So I will see you when we're there. So I'm at the end of row one here, and I have one double crochet left. So I'm gonna do a single crochet there, and I have my turning chain still. So into the top of that turning chain there, I'm gonna do my final single, single crochet of this row. And this here is the end of row two. For row three, you wanna start with the chain one and flip your work. You're gonna do one single crochet into each of the next four stitches. So into the first one, you do one single crochet and into each of the next three for a total of four single crochets in this row. Now we're gonna start a row repeat. You're gonna skip three stitches and into the next you're gonna do seven double crochets. So seven double crochets into the very same stitch. That's two, three, four, 
five, six, and seven. Now we're gonna skip three stitches and into the next do one single crochet. Now you wanna do one single crochet into each of the next six stitches for a total of seven. That was my third, fourth, fifth, sixth, and seven. Now you can start your row repeat. So you go back to the skip three and do seven double crochets into the next stitch. And so now we're gonna skip three. And if you have more stitches to go, then you continue the repetition. But in my case, I'm at the end of the row. So after skipping three, I'm left with four stitches. And so I'm gonna do one single crochet into each of those four stitches. So one, two, three, and four, and that there is the end of row three. Row four, you're gonna chain one and flip your work. And this is just like row two, where you're gonna do one single crochet all the way until the end of the row, but you're not gonna go into the turning chain. So I'll see you when we're at the end of the row to show you that. So I'm almost at the end of row four here, and I have two stitches left. So into those two stitches, I'm gonna do a single crochet into each one of them and just finish the very last one into the last stitch and finish there. So this is the end of row four. For row five, you wanna chain three and flip your work. That chain three is gonna count as a double crochet. And now you're gonna do three double crochets into the first stitch. So we're gonna do one, two, and three. And now you're gonna start the row repetition. You're gonna skip the first, uh, the next three stitches. And I'll do one single crochet into each of the next seven stitches. So that's one single crochet, two single crochets, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now you're gonna skip three stitches and into the next do seven double crochets into the same stitch. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. Now you're gonna start the row repetition again by skipping three and doing one single crochet into each of the next seven stitches. My yarn has been compromised here, so just a moment. Let's see here. All right, so that was my first single crochet, second, third, fourth, fifth, and sixth, and seventh. And so if you have more stitches, you wanna continue the row repetition. In my case, I'm at the end of the row and I have four stitches to go. So I'm gonna skip three and into the very last one, I'm going to do four double crochets. So that is one, two, three, and four. 
and that there is the end of row five. From now on, you just wanna repeat rows two through five until you have the desired length of your work or a swatch if what you're working is a swatch. And here is the wavy shell stitch, the final swatch. As you can see, it's a bit subtle. It's like the shells are kind of hiding in between the single crochets. Very well-structured stitch as well because it's single crochets. Beautiful. Beautiful. Hey, while you're at it, why don't you just subscribe to my channel? Just do it. Just do it.